Hello everyone. Today's experiment is synthesis of N-beauty bromide. First, start with the preparation of all necessary equipments and reagents. We're going to synthesize N-beauty bromide with 1-butanol and sodium bromide. First, measure out sodium bromide, about 1.1 grams, and record the exact mass of it in your notebook. Then, gently transfer the sodium bromide into a 5 milliliter conical vial with a spin vein in it, and add about 1 milliliter of DI water, and one milliliter of one butanol to the conical vial. A graduated cylinder was not used in this experiment because the actual amount doesn't really matter because you're not doing any quantitative analysis in this experiment. Place the conical vial containing the mixture of sodium bromide and 1-butanol on a hot plate and start stirring to dissolve all sodium bromide salts in water. If the spin vein doesn't spin well, use a spatula to aid the spinning inside the conical vial. If necessary, add more water. As you can see, not all sodium bromide salts will be soluble in the solution. It is okay to proceed to the next step. Place the conical vial in an ice water bath and slowly add about one milliliter of sulfuric acid into the conical vial without spilling. Instead of using a graduated cylinder, you can just use the marks on the conical vial to measure out one milliliter of sulfuric acid roughly. After placing the conical vial on the hot plate, apply vacuum grease on all joints for the glassware. Assemble the Hickman steel apparatus first and place the water cooling condenser on top of it. Attach the latex tubings to the inlet and outlet of the condenser. Start heating the mixture and make sure the water is running inside the condenser. Also, don't forget to stirring the solution on the hot plate. Once the reaction mixture starts boiling, keep the mixture under reflux for at least one hour for a complete reaction. After one hour reflux, now collect all condensates formed inside the Hickman still. You can collect the condensates by using a long stem pipette and gently draw out the liquid into a separate three milliliter conical vial.
and repeat this process until there's no more condensate forms. After collecting all condensate in the 3 milliliter conical vial, as you can see, there are two layers formed. In this mixture product, there are water, unreacted 1-butanol, and the uh, N-beauty bromide, which is our target product. First, water can be removed by addition of anhydrous sodium sulfate. So place an enough amount of anhydrous sulfate to the conical vial. If you're not sure how much anhydrous sodium sulfate has to be added, please review the extraction uh, experiment. After addition of the sodium sulfate, leave the solution for at least 5 minutes. After drying the mixture product, perform a GC analysis. Identify and determine percent composition of each component in the GC chromatogram. There are two GC chromatograms provided in Web Campus, one for the 1-view tunnel and the second for the mixture product. So you can identify each component in the mixture product. Thanks for watching and don't forget to complete your LEM report and submit through the web campus.